Hey there, all you Laravelians. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are. I was working on something real quick within Laravel Online, and I wanted to share it with you as a, just a quick tip. So the problem that I wanted, I'm wanting to solve with this is, first of all, I wanted a link inside of my edit article page as an admin where I can view the page as I'm building it out. So uh, before adding this, the only way to view a page was to have it actually published. And so I wanted a, a way to preview an article before it's published, right? But I also want to make sure that if it's not published, I don't include any SEO, um, any any kind of optimization for the search engines. So um, I added a I added a method on article that is is published. That way we can just check if any article is published based on the publish that column and the status is published. And then inside of let's see here inside of edit article. So to add a button to an edit page, and that's really what you have to understand with filament is that, you know, when we're editing an article, there's an edit page, there's a resource, and then there's the, all of the pages regarding that resource. So the resource itself will define stuff like the table. It'll define the forms for creating um, or editing. And then inside of this article resource up here, we have pages and inside of the edit page, that's where I want to add in the header an action. So the, here's an action just called view, and that's going to return a URL. But I wanted to check to see if that if that page is published already, then we want to return just the show page for that article. And if it's not published yet, I want to return the preview page, which essentially they're the same view. I'm just doing an if statement inside of it to show like, you don't put the SEO or put the SEO depending on if it's published or not. But the other thing I wanted to, to show you guys is a middleware I created. So back in web, um, we have this, we have the article slug and then we have article slug slash preview. And I created this preview middleware. So let's take a look and see what that's doing. Oops. All right, so this middleware is basically, it's it's getting these, it, first of all, we're finding the article. So something with Laravel is when you're, when you're doing a middleware, um, especially with a, a route model binded, model route binding, model route binded, um, I guess model. Um, so this would be, in this case, it's slash articles slash, and by the syntax inside of our web, um, this is what we're doing to render out that specific article. We're looking at an article and, and matching it against the slug uh, column. So to get access to that, we can get it off the request request route and grab the article. So that just gives us the slug for the article. It doesn't give us an ID or the actual model instance. So we're looking up the article. And so article where slug and it matches this uh, request route article first or fail. So we'll throw a 400 uh, 404 if it's not found. Um, and that gives us article. And then we're doing another check here to see if that article is published. So if somebody goes to the preview URL, but the article actually is published, I want to just redirect them to the show page. And that's that's all that this um, that's all that this preview middleware is doing. So let's take a look at it in action right now the we'll put the article into draft mode and I'll go ahead and click view. So you can see that this is taking us to whoops, uh, articles slash slug slash preview, which is exactly what we want. And also if we take a look at the source, I don't have any shouldn't have any at least. Nope, I don't have any optimization here for SEO. Great. That's exactly what we want. And now if I go back into the article and I move it to published, the publish that column is already um, not null. So we don't have to worry about that. Whoops, I didn't save it. So make this published, go ahead and click save and come back up and click the view page again. You can see that it's taking us to articles and then not redirecting it to um, the slash preview. And then if we take a look at the source, we should now have all of our SEO.